with this. Did we finish this. Did we do these. We did this one. That one, that DLC is done. So this is the no, or this is the stones unturned. It's called Creature of Habit. Let's go meet Donovan. We finished the, uh, as you guys can see, Sammy's. So yeah. Let's go meet Donovan. I I started the whole game over because for some reason if you quit. Like on the DLC, not quit, but if it doesn't save, you have you can't restart the whole DLC. You have to restart the whole game to get to the DLC. I tried doing last save and it didn't work. Um, so that's why I'm working with this now, doing it like this. But you guys did see I did beat the game. We got that out of the way. The main game and both DLCs. Oh, this is the third and final DLC we're working on. This one came out before. Um, the Sign of the Times DLC, but did it in the wrong order, so, but I hope you guys don't mind, um, it's just, this game's so fun, trying to get all the DLC done, before, like I said, Mafia comes out, the first, er, I guess it would be the Mafia, because I, I call it a remaster, because if you're ever familiar, if you're familiar with the first game, for the PS2, um, it, they redid it like all the cutscenes and stuff from what I've been seeing from the trailers and stuff. So different voice actors. So technically, in my opinion, that's just a remastered version. It's not a remastered. It would be like a complete different different game. So that's actually. Oh, he hit my car. Let me Donovan. Maybe after I beat all the DLC, I will replay the game off stream. All right, let's go see where Donovan is. Best park job ever. Sorry, drink of water. You hungry? Because I just ate. Then I guess I'm good. I could go for some ice cream later on. Yeah, sure, I'll keep that in mind. What's this all about? We're meeting a friend at a Cuban restaurant in the French ward. Place called Villa Del Mar. I'll fill you in on the way. Let's go. All right, we're heading to Villa Del Mar. His friend will meet you. Go ahead, a shopping cart. Now, ex-company pal Robert Marshall has a line on an asshole he worked with before your time. A man by the name of Connor Aldridge. You guys think my mustard yellow convertible? You had some kind of falling out. The fallout would suggest there was a time when we were in. You're dragging my ass around town because of it. something had to go down. Look, all you need to know is that Aldridge is a traitor's cocksucker who got good men killed. And if he's a new Bordeaux, I promise you it's not for the booze and cheap low jumps. Never is. Always a good time. When there's booze and cheap blow jobs everywhere. You ever get a chance to meet up with that gal you kept going on about? The one with the ass? <laughs> well, they all got asses, but I assume you mean Regine. Regine, yeah, that's the one. So how about? Nah, I mean I saw her around. And she went off the rails. And... What about that girl who kept writing you? Here we go. Look at that nice car right there. Where the fuck is Marshall? Hey. Look at that boat. Sorry to keep you ladies waiting. Robert Marshall. Johnny Boy and I work together at the company. Excuse me. You know, I gave you a shot to sit in the back seat, and you didn't take it. Mm. 
I'm grateful. Fuck. <sighs> Sorry about that. Marshall here is one of New Bordeaux's finest bounty hunters. Is that a cattle prod? Works every time. Although it does create a hell of a mess when my skips shit themselves. Well, I keep that in mind. So what did you learn about Aldridge? Little Bertie told me he's been sniffing around our favorite Cuban bartender, Horatio Balmana. Balmana? Are you sure? Afraid so. If Aldridge is such a big deal, why is he exposing himself over a bartender? Therein lies the question, my dark-skinned compadre. Let's go. I like that guy's freaking mustache. That's amazing. Someone was intent on keeping folks inside. Let's get in there. Do I get to keep the axe? Oh. Figured I would. God damn it. No more plantains for me. Hello? Anyone here? Dang, they were having a birthday party? What kind of sick fuck shoots up a birthday party? Aldridge doesn't see the world the way we do. There is no order in Read no. A birthday card in Spanish signed by a Rosa. There are no rules that he won't break. That's why I had to get away from him. And that life. So, each night my head hits the pillow, yada yada yada. You guys can read that. That is not Balmana. We need to secure the upstairs. Yes, we do. I pray to God, Balman is still breathing. I'd say it's not looking good. I'll cover you boys from down here. Are you sure about Marshall? Man, it seems kind of tilted. Tilted? Now nah, he's good. Hey, this uh, fella down here is still alive. Oh, wait, no, that's uh, brain. <laughs> this fella down here's got his brains and his frijoles. Okay, yeah. So maybe he's a little off. That's like insane. Just to walk in and shoot up a birthday party. Over there. God damn. Meet Horatio Balmana. Shit. Really? What? It's an Upman. <laughs> Balmana was a pilot in the Cuban Revolutionary Armed Forces. Back in November 62, the Navy found him and a couple of his pals floating in the Gulf, and they brought him in. Which is where you come in, I suppose. I was already in Nam, but I heard about it. Almana spilled everything he knew about Castro. We planted a news story about the crew being found dead. And that poor bastard ended up here, tending bar. The way this hand's cut up, Aldridge knows what he's doing. He was trying to get Balmana to talk. You all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah! I got him. Try not to kill this one, Lincoln. What do I gotta do? Ram his car off the road? Don't let that cocksucker get away. Not a chance. Damn. Then I say not a chance if we can hit a wall. Can't go far without back tires. Unless you have a front wheel drive, then that's different. Come here. Don't kill me, man. Don't kill me. Why the fuck you running? Have you seen you? <laughs> Come on. I got someone else to talk to you. It's damn good bourbon, huh? 
Oh, is that an up in your smoking? Goddamn right it is. It's moving up in the world. <clears throat> Who the fuck are you guys? Uh, 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 uh. What's your name? Fernando. La gente me llama. Huh? People call me Chucky. You let people call you Chucky? <laughs> Why would you? You don't forget it. There's a dead man upstairs named Balmana. Yes, so? So the man we're after is the one who shot the living shit out of this place. What's that got to do with me? You're not too bright. Are you Chucky? Oh, fuck! Oh. You're the sole survivor of a goddamn massacre. That's what it's got to do with you. So, tell us what you heard. All right, all right. Dami, the man who came in here, he was asking about a how. A how? Uh, what house? I, I don't know. Balmana refused to say anything, and then he started screaming. Then he gave him a name. Pedro. Pedro Pan. Say it again, so I can hear it. Pedro. Pedro Pan. Jesus Christ. And that was oh! it! He, he, he told another man he was with that thing to get the crew to the plane as quickly as possible. That's everything I hear. Oh, my mother! Uh -oh. I mean anything to you. Pedro Hold on, Nina. Code name for a CIA safe house here in the city. Can you keep our pal here on ice back at your place? Sure thing. Let's go check out your new digs, princess. Oh. Two of you find yourselves in need of sniper support. Hit me up on the radio. Adios, Chucky. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe. Also, that bell notification. Thank you for watching. Peace. Also, if we can get the 200 subs, I get tased. So, can't wait for that. So, let's go.